Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So I guess that that takes care of the heavily optimized Exynos 990, right? Well, not so fast. We have some rumors. Let's get started. First off, we had this rumor from this user, link in the description right next to that like button, which said that the Exynos 990, which is going to be found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series, is going to be heavily optimized. It's going to have better thermal performance. It's going to have better power efficiency. Indeed, it's almost going to be an Exynos 990 Plus except Samsung is not going to use that brand name. I've never known Samsung to not use a name which sounds about right for their products. Anyway, it's going to be as powerful as the Snapdragon 865 Plus, you know the processor which we didn't think existed till a couple of weeks back. But a couple of days after that, our dreams were completely crushed. We had leaked Geekbench results of both the Snapdragon and the Exynos powered Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and it's not pretty. First, let's start with the Exynos 990 powered Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The single core score is about 920 and the multi core score is about 2700, which is actually not bad, especially when you compare it to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which launched towards the first half of this year with a single core score on the Exynos 990 12 gigabyte version of about 700 and a multi core score of about 2100. Yes, that is Samsung's flagship processor on Samsung's flagship phone in this year, 2020. It's a lot slower when compared to Snapdragon. Anyway, when you come to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra powered by the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, you have a single core score of about 980 and a multi-core score of about 3200. I know it's a lot slower than Apple's A13 and still more slower than Apple's upcoming A14, but at least we're living in Samsung land. So let's just stay there. Anyway, dear viewer, you have a choice in front of you. Either you can go for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra powered by Exynos 990, the heavily optimized processor, which is going to launch on August 5th, 2020 at a starting price of about $1,200 or 80,000 rupees or you can wait because there is one more thing. We now have a rumor that the Samsung Galaxy S21 series, the flagship Samsung phone from early next year, 2021, is going to have some interesting processor details. First of all, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is going to be the only phone with the Exynos 1000, with the X1 Super Core from ARM and AMD graphics, which are supposed to be at least three times as fast as Adreno 650 and even slightly faster than Apple's A13. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Lite and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is probably going to have Exynos 992 and Mali G78 graphics and I'm really not sure about the performance there. There is not going to be a single Snapdragon 875 powered Samsung Galaxy flagship from next year. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.